you haven't yet, it's a good idea to use a ruler to check where the one quarter inch line falls on your machine. As you can see, my foot is close to one quarter inch exactly. Another tool a lot of people like to use is what we call diagonal seam tape. I think this one is from Cluck Cluck Sew, but what you do is tear off a small bit and then you're going to want to line up that red line straight with your needle. Then the black line on either side will be your one quarter inch mark. This helps you keep your fabric along that side as you're sewing. Okay, so let's get started sewing a block. I'm gonna begin using two width of fabric pieces. Now, if you have decided to use fat quarters, there's gonna be a set coming up that you won't do. But let's just say you're using a width of fabric piece. You are going to use that quarter inch line that you found and sew all the way down to the end of this piece. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here for us because that's a long strip to have to sew in real time. Still sewing. Okay, coming to the end here, what we're going to do is need to have a pair of scissors nearby. You'll take your strip Fold it in half and find the center. And at that center point, you're gonna cut it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this is a step that you don't do if you're using a fat quarter because your strips will already be this size. So with a fat quarter, you would have two of these. You would repeat the step and do it again. But for the width of fabric, we had to cut it in half. And now we're going to match those in alternating fabric order I always like to check and make sure I get it in the right direction. And again, sew that quarter inch seam all the way down the edge. Once you get to the end, cut your threads, open up, Admire your handiwork for just a second. And then we're gonna take it to the iron and press all those seams towards the dark fabric. Okay, you can see that I have all those seams pressed to the dark side. Now I'm gonna to come to my cutting mat and again, I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna be cutting from the right side. Sorry for all of you righties out there but I am going to line up against the edge. You can see this is why I came down for my selvage a little bit as I was sewing. And I'm gonna trim off that little bit of extra that's along the edge there to make sure I start off with a straight, even side. And I check my cross uh, measurements also to make sure those perpendicular lines are nice and straight. And then you just come through and each one of these units, you need seven two and a half inch strips um, of each of these. And so once I get the seven cut, I'm going to arrange them into an alternating kind of checkerboard fashion. Um, I'm gonna run out of room here in a second, but you're gonna go ahead and line them up, all right? Now it's time to sew the segments together and this is where those nesting seams comes in. If you press to your dark fabric, those seams will go in opposite directions at each juncture. And that I really think helps you to not have to use pins so much. Those nested seams kind of almost like hold on to each other in a way and it makes it really nice and honestly really satisfying to sew um, it just goes a lot more quickly. Once you've sewn six of your segments together, you'll have one extra. You're gonna snip all those, open them up, 
and take another segment, match those together, alternating fabrics and nesting seams, and sew your quarter inch again. You'll do this with this segment, and then you'll have another double segment that you're gonna do it with the single that you had left over. Working in sevens leaves you with one extra uh, segment to add in there. Snip those, and this is the final step of sewing it all together. You're almost done with your first block. So take that last one, make sure you're alternating fabrics again, nest your seams, sew your quarter inch, and you'll have another Maggie Pearl block complete. Now as for pressing in this last step, honestly, unless you know which spot these blocks are gonna go in, you're gonna have to press open, but there you go.